Hello guys and welcome back to Jam Chemistry class. And of course, in this class, we are going to be looking at the azimuthal or the subsidiary quantum number. Azimuthal or the subsidiary quantum number. All right. So before now, we have looked at uh, the quantum numbers. We say there are four quantum numbers that uh, Neil Boss used to explain the result, the result of his experiment. The principal quantum number, the azimuthal or the subsidiary quantum number, the magnetic or the third quantum number, and the spin quantum number. We have looked at in the previous episode, the principal quantum number represented by the letter N, right? And then now we are uh, looking at the azimuthal or subsidiary quantum number. Now, the azimuthal or the subsidiary quantum number is represented with the letter L. The principal quantum number is represented with the letter M. The azimuthal quantum number is, is represented with the letter what? L. Now, do not forget that this video tutorial is brought to you by the old school Jam CBT practice app. It is the best CBT practice app available out there. And of course, it has all the past questions, all the recent past questions you need for your exams. And of course, wonderful features that you may explore. One of them is the Jam Mock Challenge that, uh, that is taken on the app every weekend, every weekend till your Jam exam, right? Before your Jam exam, you must have taken like 20 mock exams with all the participants from Nigeria. So you are not the only one writing this exam. The same question set for different people and then you see your score, you see your performance, you are competing to also win prizes, right? So it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot to get, uh, it's a lot to get to have that app on, on your phone. So please go to Play Store. The, 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 the name of the app is being displayed or below this video right now. Look for all three school jam CBT practice app, download it, activate it for just 2,500 naira. It's a one-time activation. Once you activate, it remains forever activated. So download it, activate it, and of course, start practicing today. And you see that what your jam score will be very, very, very good. No, no cap. All right, now let's go back to what we are doing. The azimuthal quantum number is represented with letter what? L, right? And we say that what it gives it indicates what the orbital. The orbital to which an electron what resides it indicates the what the orbital to which an electron what resides it does not only give the orbital to which an electron resides or can be found it also gives the information about what the shape the shape of the orbital it also gives the information about the shape of the what of the orbital shape Right, so it gives the what the what uh, the orbital. It indicates the orbital to which an electron resides or may be found, and also what gives what the shape of what that it describes the shape of that what orbital. Now, uh, in the previous lesson, we talked about the principal quantum number n, right, and we said it gives the information about the shell to which what an electron to which an element belongs. But this one gives the information about what, the orbital to which what an electron what belongs to and also describes the shape of that orbital now the values of l the values of l are dependent on those of n the values of l are dependent on those of what of n it is very important to know that now the least value of l the least value of l is zero l the least value of L of azimuthal quantum number is what is zero. That is the least value of what of L, right? Now, if the least value of L of L is zero, also the values of L are from are from uh, zero to n minus one. The values of L are from zero to what n minus one. The values of L are from zero to what n minus one. Now, this means that what the values of L cannot cannot be equal to those of n and the values of l cannot be greater than those of what of n you get me now so with this now we say the values of l these are the values of l the values of l are from zero is a range from zero to n minus one and with this it means that what the value of l cannot be equal or greater than that of n at all right from this relation it shows that the values of l cannot be equal or greater than that of what of n and again, 
L cannot be what negative. L cannot be what negative. Why? L cannot be negative because we have said that the least value, the least value of what of L is what is zero. So this is the least value of what of L. Now that means that what L cannot be what have a negative value. Now let us let me show quickly show you how you get the values of L. Since we know the range, we have said that what L is from what zero to what to n minus what one. Right, so now let's see. This means that what if when n is equal to one, for example, if n is equal to one, it means that what n uh, l is a, is a range of values from what zero to what one minus one. That means the values we got from what from zero to what n is what is one that's one minus what one that is from zero to what to zero, zero to zero is something as what as zero. All right, so when n is one. L is a range of value from 0 to what? N minus 1. That is what? 0 to what? 1 minus 1, which is what? 0 to 0, which is still 0. Now, when N, N is 2, it means that what? L is a range of value from 0 to what? To 2 minus 1, which is what? Range of value from what? 0 to what? To 1, right? That means the values of what? Of L of L here yeah, will be equal to what now? 0 and 1. You get it, right? So, when N is 2, L values range from 0 to what? 2 minus 1. That is 0 to 1. After 0 is what is 1. That is the range. Now, when N is 3, when N is equal to 3, it means that what? The range, the range of values of L are from what? 0 to what? 3 minus 1. Which is what? 0 to... 0 to what? To 2. 0 to 2 is what? 1, 0, 0, 1, and what? And 2. That means what? Uh, L has 3 values when n is 3. L, uh, L has 2 values when n is what? 2. L has a value when n is what is 1. You get it now. Also, when n, when n is equal to 4, it means that what the range of values of L are from what? 0 to what? 4 minus 1. That is 0, 1, Two, three. You get it now. Same thing as what? As and so on and so forth. All right. So what is the important thing you need to know is what is the what is the range of value of what of n of L rather from zero to n minus one, and that the values of what of L are dependent on those of what of n. Very 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 important. Now, having known this now, let's uh, let's go back to let's get back to the most important part now. This is important, by the way. <laughs> so let's let's see uh, what you need to know about this. Right now, the SPDF orbitals, the SPDF orbitals, right? S P D F orbitals correspond to the azimuthal quantum numbers of zero. Let me, let me write it out. Corresponds to the Azimuthal quantum number quantum number zero, one, two, and three. You get now S the SPDF orbitals correspond to the azimuthal quantum numbers zero, one, two, and three. That means S is zero, P is one, D is two, F is what is three. That means that if an electron reside, if an electron reside within the world, the p orbital, or within the d orbital, right? Okay, let's say d orbital, for example. That means if an electron reside within the d orbital, it will have a zimuthal quantum number of, of two. If an electron reside within the p orbital, the azimuthal quantum number of what will be one. If an electron reside within the f orbital, the azimuthal quantum number will be three. Why, if an electron reside within the s orbital, the azimuthal quantum number of what will be zero. You get now. Let's go back to our electronic configuration of the sodium atom Na twenty three eleven. Now we say it was what Is two sorry one S two two S two two P six and what three S what one right now. This was the electronic configuration of, of the sodium what atom. What does it tell us? It tells us that the first four electrons that is this one. And this one, these are the first four electrons, IS2 and 2S2. They have what? Azimuthal quantum number of what? Of zero. 
because they re they lie in the what in the s orbital they reside in the s orbital the first four electrons the first four electrons have azimuthal quantum number of what of zero because they reside in the world in the s orbital now the same thing is with what with the with the last electron the last electron here is 3s1 it still reside in the in the what in the s orbital and also that means that what the azimuthal quantum number of this one will also be what will also be zero the last electron we also have as a meter quantum number of what of zero alongside with what with this now this this orbital we have as a meter quantum number of what of p that is what of one right this two p six right it's at as a meter quantum number of one so the first four electrons and the last electron has up as a meter quantum number of what of zero now please know something very important the fact that these first four electrons and the last electron have the same as a meter quantum number does not mean that they have the same what principal quantum number the principal quantum number will not be the same they will be different but the azimuthal quantum numbers are what are the same get it now all right so now let's quickly look at the last part of what the discussion which is what the shapes of the various what orbital now the s orbital is very kind shape the s orbital s orbital is what spherical these are exam questions the spherical in shape Will be asked you will see it in your past questions you see it on your o3 school jam cbt app please likewise do not forget to what to like this video when you like this video other students will get in touch with video they will easily find our video and also learn if you subscribe to this youtube channel subscription is free f r o e e just click on the rest of subscribe button below this video once you do that it means that whenever we release a new content like this once as we are publishing it param you will get a notification on your phone that O3 Schools has published a new video. It is free to subscribe. Then, of course, you can share our video, share our video to your friends and family so that they can also learn. Now, S orbital is spherical in shape. Now, the P orbital is what? Dumbbell. It has a what? A dumbbell shape. All right? Now, the D orbital... The D orbital has a double dumbbell shape. A double dumbbell shape. All right. And of course, the last uh, orbital, F orbital, the F orbital is what is, although beyond the scope of this class, but it is not too bad to know that what it has was, it is tetrahedral in shape. It is tetrahedral. This R is tetrahedral in shape. So you need to take note of this. We have said as a review that what the values of L are dependent on those of N, and the values of L range from what zero to N minus one. And when N is what is one, um, of course, as a quantum number, we have what a value of what of of one. We have one value rather. And now, when N is two, L we have a range of value from zero to what. Uh, one minus one. So from of 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 zero to what two minus one when n is two, of range of what uh, three zero to three minus one when n is three, range of what uh, 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 four minus one when was from zero to four minus one when n is what is four and so on and so forth. Please, if you don't know that any part of the video, just take it backward and what you see what that for yourself. Now we said the SPDVF orbitals correspond to the azimuthal quantum numbers zero, one, two, and three. Then we talk about the shape of what of the S orbital is what it is spherical in shape. It's a typical exam question. P orbital is dumbbell in shape. The D orbital is double dumbbell in shape. I will, I will have drawn the diagrams, but I don't think they'll be asking you that uh, they will ask you about the diagrams. Just for the sake of this class, for the scope of this class, it is important or necessary to what to know the shape of what of the orbitals. Then our F orbital is what is tetrahedral in shape. You may never be, you may never be asked in your jam because it is beyond the scope of this class, of course. So now that is where we are going to draw the curtain on the azimuthal or the subsidiary quantum numbers. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section, and of course I will get to them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next class.